na huyo mgonjwa ni kimulete nilikuwa nime alikuwa ameandikiwa na daktari afanya akisikia uchungu hivi kidogo akuje ndio afanyie operation kwa sababu mtoto amekaa vibaya na saa ile aliniita hivi immediately nilichukua taxi nikamlete akachukuliwa na tuka, nikawaambia huyu mtoto mjue anatakikana afanye operation kwa sababu aliadikiwa operation sasa saa ile nilienda nyumbani tukafukuzwa nilienda nyumbani nikagojea atapata mtoto on that time nikakaa nikampigia akaniambia ameambiwa atapeleka theta after that time akamaliza masaa ine. sasa hivyo walimpeleka kama saa sita kwa theta saa saba hivi akapelekwa saa hiyo akafanya operation na mtoto akatolewa na mtoto akapelekwa nasali lakini mtoto alikuwa amekunia kwa tubo na amechoka kwa hivyo akapelekwa nasali na huyu mama akapelekwa kwa hii inaitwa ukitoka dieta kwa unit sasa nikakuja Sandy akaambiwa akakuta mtoto ametabika akaambiwa simonyonyeshe jana kukakuja wa mama wengine tukakuta the same same hajamonyesha mtoto lakini anawekwa maji sasa jana usiku akakufa lakini kuanzia mandi that whole week cases zote ni every day unakuta mama kwa wodi wakilia watoto wamekufa wale wote wako incubator sasa nauliza serikali kama iko shida watoto wataendelea hivyo au ni kibita iko na shida au ni nini iko na shida si serikali watatue ni nini iko na shida all our incubators are working i can state that clearly they are functional and they are available to the patients who are need, need to use them this is unfortunate but it's a known complication for having an operation after having an operation so we do expect and any person that are going going through surgery we usually request for consent because we know that not at all times we we desire we we aspire to do the best and provide the highest quality to these mothers and their children and their relatives but we also need the relatives and the patient to know that there is some risk and wood infection is a known risk after cesarean section mm -hmm.